Now, the World Health Organization has handed over personal protective equipment to Adamawa State to contain the circulating mutant polio virus type 2 in some local governments of the state. The materials are to be distributed to the 21 high priority health faculties across a local government and will be used by healthcare workers in providing the facilities. Speaking at the meeting with crucial stakeholders, the Deputy Governor Crowder says attributed the reported cases to low immunization coverage in some communities, stressing that government is fully committed to wiping out the virus in the affected areas. In his remarks, the state chairman of Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Suleiman Saidu Bashir, dwelt on the successes and challenges recorded during the exercise. In their separate contributions, their development partners, WHO, UNICEF, and Algen chairman, Gidado Abdul Salam, appreciated the state government for prioritizing the health of the citizenry. These are all aimed at building the necessary had immunity for Nigeria to retain its polio-free status. I therefore urge each and every member of the state task force to rise up to this challenge. Let us do it. Let us do all that is required of us. I also urge you all to mobilize your teams and institutions for intensive advocacy and social mobilization for a successful conduct of the round two of the OBR in February. We have a quality round in this uh, May immunization. You can recall that uh, in the last round, uh, most we have only one L uh, LG that held the LQS. And the reason why we felt that LQS is not because people are refusing, but because of team performance. That is poor team performance. Child absence is one of the problems. All the children that we missed is because when the team visited the houses, the children were not around, and the team did not make any effort to go back and immunize the children. So this time around, we have made all the plans to ensure that this does not repeat. So I want to assure you that the WHO and other partners will work hand in hand to ensure that we have a very quality round. Yeah, to be candid, uh, we have over 90% achievement in terms of coverage in the last two rounds, uh, which are very far, far above the national uh, coverage that we have reached. And uh, we want to consolidate on that. And the other issue is that uh, during the campaign, we had some other uh, little issues in terms of our own site on this provision. And we have some communities that are hesitant. And uh, we have addressed them. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.